here. Wait, 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 wait. Before I show the footage, I really need to explain why I'm here. Now, in Japan, there are these train stations called Hikyo stations. Not to be confused with Haikyo, which is abandoned buildings in Japan. This is more called secluded, meaning that you can go there, but it's very isolated. Therefore, why would you go there in the first place? And these have become very famous with train enthusiasts. You know, those like people who film like a train that's been kissed by Joe Biden back in 1984 and all of a sudden all these people film it. Yeah, those people. It's become very popular with them because of the fact that these stations basically have no people aside from them themselves. And there's even a website that ranks all of them that looks like it came out of 2001. Anyways, I decided to go to this one that I discovered a long time ago. So yeah, that's how I ended up up here and yeah now you can watch the video well there goes the train well, I'm here at Koda Station, which is a very isolated station. When I mean it's isolated, I mean there's no town, there's no road, there's literally nothing aside from the station and a, I think a few trails. This seems interesting, so that's why I came here. Am I stupid for doing this? Probably, but let's have fun. Okay, right off the bat, it looks like just like a old, like, almost like very rural Japanese house. Only reason why I know it's not is because of the yellow thing. And I hope I'm alone or else it's gonna be weird. Whoa, that looks very old, but like very important. And yeah, look, there's just, look, there's just like random books and notebooks and stuff here. So yeah, this is literally the whole station building. That's crazy. Okay, so I looked through these and I realized that I can write in here. And I'm probably gonna be the first person to write English into these because they're all Japanese, so. If you guys ever come here, look for this one. And then you'll find a message in there. If you ever come here and you see my message, I put stuff in quotations. So comment that on this video and then, I don't know. It's just proof, yeah. The camera's picking it up. Yeah, it's not, but it's slightly sprinkly. Luckily, this GoPro is waterproof, so that's good. But I'm probably gonna stay in here for now, just cause. I mean, I brought an umbrella just in case, which is good, but... What are you gonna do about it? I swear, look how beautiful this place is. Why? Why, why is it like this? So I pissed in a bush. Now if you guys ever seen Dream Across Japan 2, you would know that scene where Natsuki basically went off to take a smoke break. And after taking a smoke break, he found like this abandoned place, right? You know, even though he just went for a smoke break, he found something. Well, when I went to go piss in a bush, I found this like... Here, I'll show you guys. Oh my god, is about to just go down and I hear like the... The dun dun dun... I think a train's coming. Oh look, there's like a bike thing right there. I wonder what that is. Oh, what is that? Anyway, let's see this train come. Oh, you heard that right. Wonder if anyone got off. I'm guessing not, but you never know. Here we go. Anyway, without any interruptions, let's finally go to the place I was going to, to show you guys. Oh my god, it's so humid. But you know, that's fine. It's, it's actually pretty cool compared to where I was earlier. But yeah, look at the mountains. I think this is called the Japanese Alps, if I remember correctly. But I don't remember correctly, so I could be wrong. Okay, I came down here and there's these two houses. This one's definitely abandoned, and this one looks abandoned, but I'm not quite sure if it is okay and here it says one hour for something i think it's a trail or something 
I think we should go down it. Oh, look, there's like a car and there's like one of those like telephone. Oh, there is an electrical or telephone pole here. It's very interesting. I wonder what the story with that car is. You know, when I'm in places like this, there's not much to shoot because, you know, it's literally just a trail. And there's not much interesting things to a trail, at least for a camera. I mean, when you're here, it's amazing. But like on camera, you can't really show much. But it's still very interesting here. Oh my god, look, it looks like there's been like a landslide or something. It's like a little shack there. And look, it's just... I need to really be careful here. I'm gonna stop recording because if I fall, that would be really bad. Oh yeah, it's closed off. These houses are definitely abandoned. Here's a better shot of the house. It's definitely abandoned. There is a satellite though. Wow, satellite. Yeah, it looks like it ends here and that. I think it's too wet to go down this because there's a big chance I could slip. So I think I'm gonna head back to the station. I still got like two hours. So I'll see you guys there. Whoa, look over there. There's like a ship or something. It looks like, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's like a boat of some sort. Remember the car wreck from earlier? Well, here it is closer. It looks like it's been here for a long time. It's one of those like mini trucks actually. And yeah, it looks pretty old. I don't think I've seen a blue car like that like ever in modern days. So yeah. Here's also that abandoned looking house from the beginning. I think it is, but I could also believe if someone lived there. Anyway, we're back over here and yeah, that was quite fun, wasn't it? There's more things over there, but I don't think I'm gonna go over there today. Cause you know, it's just the same. It's just a trail, so. Oh my God, we're finally back to, well, not really civilization, but something. Oh my God. it started raining more if I look wet it's not because of the rain it's because I'm sweating it's really humid and because I was walking a lot I'm really sweaty I'm gonna just you know keep it cool for now yeah I don't know what else to say. it's moments like these where it's just good I don't know I almost feel like this isn't real I mean I have this whole station to myself Literally until when I leave because that's when the next train comes the next train that's coming is the one I'm literally taking and yeah It's cool Anyway, I'm gonna just be here Waiting I mean, I'm not complaining. This is a great place to be waiting, but eh. Well, that's weird. I was just eating and then I don't know where the lights just came on I mean, I'm not complaining, I love light, but kind of weird, isn't it? I, I heard like a like a tick, like a doop, and then it must be on like a timer or something, because why else would it turn on? There's literally no one here. Good thing I brought an umbrella. You know what I hate more, more than anything in this world? Sam's Club, that's right, I hate Sam's Club. I'm a loyal Costco shopper, so I would never go to Sam's Club ever. Why did I yell? You know, Costco is my second favorite store ever. And I think we all know what's on top of that. I love Ikea. So the fact that anyone had the audacity to go to Costco, to go to Sam's Club, it's just abysmal. I don't know, I just thought I'll bring that up. I mean, I think all of you know that I hate Sam's Club, but yeah, I'm just on the record. Costco here is amazing, actually. Like, you can get everything you can in an American Costco. Well, not everything, but a lot of things. You know, it obviously costs more because you have to import it plus the exchange rate is absolutely abysmal right now. But, still good. It's basically the same, except the food court is a little bit different. And yeah, love Costco no matter where it is. Especially the one in Iceland. You know what this rain made me realize? How great shelter is like. If this shelter wasn't here, I would be more wet than I already am. Like, this is amazing. I love shelter so much, oh my God. Also the light, it's on. It's probably gonna turn off because it actually turned on earlier. When I came back, it was on, but then it turned back off. I don't know how the light works, but it does. Wait, did I even do a tour of the, did I? I don't think I did. Anyway, we saw this room, right? We saw this room. Yeah, this is the main room. And then we got this part, yeah. 
and then we got the other platform that's now closed according to the wikipedia it used to be open but then they closed it and then here is the station where you arrive i'm not going to go there because i did not have my umbrella with me right now so and that's the tour you know i was just sitting in this area and i noticed like there was like a wedding that happened at this station like Look, even like the priest, I don't know what it's called in Japanese. Wait, what is it even called in English? The person like does like the marriage. I don't know. Anyway, that person has like a train conductor hat, but they're just like, you know, traditionally. And then everyone else is wearing suits. Like, imagine having a wedding at this station. That's crazy. I mean, that would be a wedding that no one would ever forget, but like. You know, with many advantages comes rain. Oh my god, why can I not speak? With many, with much rain comes a lot of opportunity. Wait, what was the word I said before? Why did I forget right away? Anyway, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that, look, my hands are kind of dirty, so I just put my hand out like this, and look, I can clean it. Thunder. Wow, thunder. What's that one song that, like, kids used to sing in America? Like, thunder, thunder, go away, won't you cold be? play away or something yeah anyway the rain has not stopped ever since it started like usually it was on and off when i was on the trail but now it's just like pouring down oh my god look how much clouds are there now that it rained i mean it's still raining but like just look at all those clouds and yeah as it saw the lights turned off so i genuinely have no idea how they work so i'm here with the umbrella and look here's the just the sign but yeah, you can see the other platform very degraded because obviously it hasn't been touched. There must have been tracks right there and then they just covered it up, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, look, you can barely see it, I think. Oh no, you can't. I'm just... My mind's making stuff up. I'm schizophrenic. But yeah. I always record these and don't know what to say at the end, so I always say something like, oh yeah, so. Yup. Like, I always say something like that because I don't know how to end these recordings. At this point... There's just nothing to do, aside from wait for the train, which I'm not complaining about, but, you know. This is my life now. Well, only for like an hour. Train's about to arrive, I would say, like in an hour from now? Somewhere around there. And, yeah, the time went by really fast, actually. Those houses over there really confused me, because, like, imagine living out here, you know? Imagine, what would your life be like? I would definitely not like to live here. Maybe, like, I don't know, sometimes visit here, but not live here. You know, I always see those videos where it shows like a random house in the middle of like the Swiss Alps and then people in the comments are like, I just want to get off the internet and go here. But like, if you think about it, like, it's not that great to live in isolation like that. I mean, most of our entertainment comes from the internet, right? And when the only few people you could talk to are people in like a village, I'm guessing, which will be just a few same people, Life just gets boring from there. So it's great to live out in the city and then once in a while come to places like this because it's kind of a refresher from the very loud and excessive life in the city. I don't know, that's all I could think of. I guess I'll see you guys when the train is coming. Well, I I'm not gonna promise anything. I always like film something too early and then I put that in, you know what I mean, but I'll see you guys when I see you guys next. Now, like me, many of you are probably wondering why this station exists in the first place. And luckily, there's this nice Japanese guy in front of a TV to explain to us. So, I'll briefly summarize. So basically, there used to be a village here, right? There used to just be a normal village, and that's why the station existed in the first place. But then, they built a dam. They built this dam right here that still exists to this day. And because dams do what dams do, the river that was next to the village expanded with more water. This caused the whole village to just go underwater. And because of that, before the dam was even built, I'm guessing, they relocated the whole village and only like a few houses that weren't submerged just stayed. So there used to be a village and even a road that connected, but because of the dam, basically all of that got submerged and now that's why the station is so isolated and yet still exists to this day. Anyways, I hope that kind of explains why this is here and let's get to the clip of me waiting for the train to arrive. Well, as I predicted, the time went by really fast. We got about like 15 minutes until the train comes and yeah, it's been fun. The rain luckily stopped so I can be here without the umbrella and 
Uh, it's amazing here. I would say if you guys are in the area, you should come here, but like, what area is there? There's literally no way to get here unless you go on this train, so. Maybe go on this train, I don't know. Now it's just time to wait for the train to come and then I can go home. Train ride to here, I think is about like three and a half hours or like like three hours and 15 minutes, somewhere around there back to Nagoya. So it's a long way, but you know, that's what you have to do when you get to a place like this. So overall, this was a very eye-opening experience for me, even though it seems very simple. I mean, it made me realize that there used to be a village here, meaning that this train was basically the people's lifeline, and without it, they basically could probably not even get out of the village that easily. It was great to just come here, not only because of that, but just because of how interesting it was. As you saw, I was literally the only one, and it was basically like a mini cabin in the middle of nowhere, and that's literally was the whole station. Overall, it was a fun experience. Like I said, I would recommend coming here if you have lots of time. It would be great if you guys could join the Patreon, because possibly I could get a JRL pass. Oh my god. Which would mean that I can film more of these. I literally have, like, I think less than a month left here, so yeah. It needs to be urgent, but you know, if I can't reach that goal, which realistically I probably won't, that would be fine. Anyways, here's the train finally arriving. Well, the train's gonna be coming in like a minute from now. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's been very quick, but very long. That made no sense. And yeah, it's what's well, very fun to be here just because of how interesting this place was. I mean, there's nowhere in the world I've been to like this before, so it was very interesting. Very eye-opening, very explore. Oh, here it comes. Here comes my train. Oh, here it comes. Can you guys see that in the distance? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week.